right there we go. There is the thing sitting. Well, yeah. <laughs> oh, an interesting good guy. How you doing? Right, hopefully that's okay while the line is. Uh, you know, we'll go off this and we'll see how this goes with the volume balance. And... Hopefully that's okay. Sick, but still get- I hope you are, right? <laughs> hope you're the uh, trucking along, making good in the uh, recovery. But, uh, glad that you're still doing good at least. Anyway, so, hi everyone to the stream, uh, so to some people's delight, you know, the big, the sky friends that I have, uh, yes, I'm finally playing one of these dumb games. Uh, I, I, okay, I see that's if it's a bad thing. I'm actually being curious about this guy for a while. Eh, uh, that's good to hear. I'm glad more smite tomorrow. Absolutely, that'd be great. Um, but today, yeah, focusing on uh, a different kind of tactics RPG. Well, the game labels itself as strategy tactics, but what I have been told from friends is this is, um, not really, the, the strategy and tactics is more just how batshit and sinking your party builds be, but um, I don't really know much about this guy and myself, so we're gonna find Another out today. world crisis of extinction level proportions was perpetrated by the demon emperor, Boy the the Dark. The historians of later generations look back in puzzlement at this historical event, the largest netherworld war, which erupted and expanded in a flash, and ended in just one night. Some call it the It's reckless of you to invade the territory of the lost. Oh, oh, that. I don't know which netherworld you're from, but we're gonna put you in your place. Oh shit, they got the red tenant dragons that I've never seen. Seraphina, at this rate, they're gonna annihilate us, dude. What did you just say? I will not abide being annihilated. I love One the spray art for 20 skin. hours of labor. That was our agreement. Now, oh, they are. Put your backs into it. Your soft, squishy backs. One sardine to fight a merciless battle isn't a fair trade, dude. OMG, the sky if I OMG is that dragon. What? First of all, it's impossible <laughs> the for us to defeat the Demon Emperor Boy Dark on How our you own, doing, dude? Right yeah, you've come out a good thing. We're, we've hmm. just gotten started. So it's against my upbringing to my own hands. This there you go, Rygon. See, I'm doing my part of the sky propaganda. Gaze. And my wife said, oh, boy. <laughs> That's why I, I, I see Seraphina is kind of popular. <laughs> Wait, huh? <laughs> Excuse me, you right there. What do you think you're doing? Uh, eating, obviously. <laughs> it's a fluffy rising dragon bowl with all white breast meat from a thousand year old dragon lord and its egg. It's delicious. All right, then. I'm finished refueling. Let me get rid of these guys. Just casually comes on and eats in the middle of a damn war, and then is like, "Okay, I'm done eating. Now I fight." I can respect that too. You Damn, destroyed like an entire squad of the lost army single-handedly. I found my prince. Got that again. I know I just said it like a minute ago, but it's like, God, I love the sprite art of the sky. And blank screen. I had this. Hmm. Oh, yes. I'm gonna presume it's playing the opening because I had this problem earlier. And I don't know why. Right, I guess we're just skipping the 
anime opening that we're not able to see for some reason. Yeah, I don't know why, whenever it plays the opening, the, the screen just goes blank. Episode 1, Prelude to Vengeance. Oh, they did the title card even for me, how nice. Excuse me, please wait. My goodness, please wait, Sir Kilia. Do you have any idea how much walking I had to do to catch up with you? I spent one whole hour walking non-stop through the desolate netherworld that is Blood Parch. An hour walking that ain't look as uh, uh, someone that like uh, you know has two huskies and does big Highland dog walking with them. Oh shit! Is the game when you turn lower game volume? Uh, hold on, can At I? At this rate, my legs will be as rock hard as a foolish gorgon. Well, Madam Seraphina didn't actually take a single oh, step damn, herself. Hold on. I will get into that right now. Oh wait, hold on. Uh, I can probably or uh, or oh, sorry, lower the desktop body with the now um as a substitute. Uh, yeah, let me know if this is any better for the next few lines, Dragon. Uh, and I'll fix the game audio proper when I get the chance. And I actually already did crank the master volume down a bit to begin with, so. Hey, 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 we'll see. That's unreasonable. I'm out of For it. now it's good? Okay, that's good to know. Uh, I think I might actually be able to leave it like this. Uh, sudden gone. <laughs> Why? See? You can't even dodge a simple attack. You must be exhausted, Sir Kilia. If you keep pushing yourself like this, you will never defeat Demon Emperor Void Dark. In fact, you're liable to become roadkill. This gate connects to a pocket netherworld set aside for my exclusive use. You are my husband, now, okay? Yeah, yeah, you know, I, I guess, uh, you know, Seraphina probably doesn't now, need consent. Please, please be Sir Kilia's escort. <laughs> All men are oh, God, she's just got. Hmm, so she has that oh ho 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 laugh. And I know another character. Dragon like that does the similar laugh. I wonder is there a shared taste, Dragon? <laughs> Seraphina, how the Maybe <laughs> Hello Mr. Uncle Bunga. Hello Kami <laughs> Welcome to me playing a uh, another well, it is technically a, a strategy tactics game, but I've been told I can get wacky in this one, eh? So maybe we'll have an upcoming race in this? <laughs> imagine Kami. I, maybe, maybe I do imagine Kami. <laughs> Netherworld Hospital, when you're injured, come here to treat your wounds. Equipment, items, eh? When you want to go outside, please talk to the Dimension Prinae, of course I'll go with you. Oh god, the movement speed's faster than I expected. <laughs> right, hold on, am I able to... Oh, so hold on a bit, what's this? Oh wait, did I not click it? Eh... Uh... Oh, you know what, the mouse just makes me move right, uh... Ooh, the panning. <laughs> ah, right, so we just pan the camera like this. Okay. Ever since Void Dark appeared, many other words have become so broad the their words have changed, dude. You can change settings in that lobby you in. Mad Ali. hello, is this in this game have I, if you were interested? Yeah, I, I know um I have already been given the heads up about Volvatores. Yes, I will absolutely be unlocking Volvatores when I get the chance and using them in the party. <laughs> I am not even gonna try and hide that bias. It's like my people. <laughs> I, I need to use him. Back in the day you were able to enjoy being evil and love the relaxing life of a demon dude. 
play video games for three days straight, not wash your hands after using the bathroom and lick a girl's recorder? This pretty concerns me. Wait, what's this event? Sir Killer, don't, we don't have to worry about being invaded in loss here. Please and relax, enjoy yourself. Sorry, but I don't have any time to waste. Where's the exit? It, yeah, that's uh, I, 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 from little like no context clips I've seen beforehand as well as this. I can see that the sky is again with very uh interesting dialogue. I got the skull when you shot me. Sir Killer rest his life to protect me from loss because he was seduced by my beauty. Oh dear. <laughs> it's natural for me men to kneel before me. Oh ho 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 ho. Yeah, I don't got the touch for that. If I kind of laugh. Allow me to reintroduce myself since I'm going to. Oh, Rip Kelly. Sometimes it just happens, you know. <laughs> no. Oh god, I, I hate, I think Cammy's already like two steps ahead to know where the joke's going, no. <laughs> Look, all I'm saying is, you know, crazy lady comes up, uh, you, you know, one encounter. Now she says that she's going to be his master. I'm not saying I relate, but mayhaps I can sympathise with Killia. He just like me for real, for real? Oh, so hello, Del Tora. Welcome to the- HOLY SH- Rygon! Rygon, you crazy mad lad. Fire off gift subs. I'm going to have to get you back for this. <laughs> this generosity. Ugh. <laughs> Yeah, uh, you and me both scared, get jump scared by my very generous mod. <laughs> Kami gifted the tear and- No! <laughs> oh no, they're popping off! We have a hype train? Oh, so wait, hold on, I thought I was supposed had a... Maybe I don't have a gift sub notification. Damn. Uh, oh my god. Not the hype train. I wasn't ready for this. Not yet. <laughs> oh, accident. Let's skip dialogue. You're an overlord, but you ran away from home. What kind of overlord are you? If I wasn't in the picture, I never would have had to dirty my feet in. But sure. You call that getting revenge? Oh, getting revenge because it's Alliance of Vengeance. Uh, <laughs> oh, is it going? My, my like chat notification screen is going absolutely crazy with the hype train. You are vengeance. Yeah, like I, I wanted to kind of squeeze in that joke anyway. Screak that is like, oh, isn't it funny that I'm like a vengeance paladin now in Baldur's Gate three, and now I'm playing the game The Sky of Five, um, Alliance of Vengeance. Maybe I need to work this into my lore one day. You know, get get like uh, an extra lore dump character development. Like, ooh, super vengeful vampire. What am I getting vengeance for? I don't know. I'm gonna get vengeance on Rygon's generosity by hitting him with generosity of my own one day. That'll be my vengeance. Wait, do we still have more to talk about? Have you been saving? Oh, right, saving the game. Ah, see, I haven't even thought we saved the game. <laughs> Love you too, dude. <laughs> Alright, hold on, I need to. Right, let me just get from over. Right, so this is all my items. Buy stuff. What the heck are you? Jane, class no old guy. What do you want? 
Ask me anything about weapons? Uh, we'll hold off on that then now. Strategy assembly, recruiter. Check this out. Data? You don't have to talk to him, just keep dialogue. Right, right. But I kind of, I must admit, I'm uh, intrigued and curious. Uh, oh, right, so this is just like records and stuff. Uh, right, not going to bother with you for now. Uh, shall I, do, do I get to do recruiting yet? Oh yeah, still preparing, right, that answers uh, that question. Also, hold on, I just want to check something with my... Alright, there was just a little incorrect inconsistency with my Streamlabs there. Uh... Let's fix you up. Tutorial Netherworld Hospital, welcome to Netherworld. Full of heal damage you've taken in battle, charge you for the amount of HP and SP. Reward system. Huh. Prizes can be collected from the hospitals, you take more damage? Mm. Okay, that's uh, interesting. I'll keep that in mind. Like go, right, let's get on with progress. Comfortable enough, Sir Kilia? I don't have any time to waste in a place like this. Mom, I can't believe what I'm hearing from someone who eats in the middle of a battle. Oh, so hold on. Because uh, I've turned the, the uh, volume down a lot. Is it still, like, decently hearable? Because I, I don't want to have turned it down to too low. Yeah, but you, I'm, I, I can't tell if that's like Seraphina hyper or like confirmation of everything's okay. <laughs> Haven't you ever heard that an army marches on its stomach? <laughs> you're more of a gourmand than you project, Sir Kilia. Well, as long as you're strong, it matters not to me. You could say that this pocket netherworld is Sir Kilia's in my love nest. Please feel free to use anything here. Just so you know. I have no intentions of asking anyone for help. I would say rise it a bit. Okie dokie. Uh, there we go, that's a bit. There we go, smudged up a bit, right? Uh, that is simply not possible. You see, Sir Kilia, you and I are connected by the red string. I do like how Seraphine is going on about the romance angle, and I. It, Kilia isn't even fighting it. Or except, and he's just doing his own thing. It's more like a bloodstained leash than a red string of fate, dude. <laughs> oh, hold on. J just because of funny inner jokes, eh? Yeah, I'm, I'm saving a screenshot of that bloodstained leash line. I might need it if funny jokes come after me and. <laughs> The future. You are mine, Sir Kilia. Please do not. Wait, did that pretty just get gone down? And what if I do? <laughs> All men are destined to become my obedient servants. Are you one of them obedient servants, Dragon? Now, Kilia, follow my orders. I refuse. <laughs> huh? That's odd. Ha! I know what you, yeah, you, you, you've been in, <laughs> you've been in the loop enough to know why I won't, <laughs> just in case. <laughs> now you will find me irresistible. He's gonna find her resistible. Even if you are an overlord, you cannot resist the temptation of my overload power, Baylor Gaze. What are you trying to do? <laughs> there we go, uh, Serafina's <laughs> favourite guy. There he is in chat. <laughs> He's the mod. The 
blood power, it's a barren land where the where it hardly ever rains, the plants absorb blood to grow. Ooh. I mean, I was about to be like, oh, it barely ever rains. A Scottish person like me can't like that, but it's like... Man, plants are using blood to grow? Blood ports? Eh... Mmm, delicious. My, who might you guys be? Oh, so anyway, she started blasting. <laughs> What's wrong with you? Who goes around shooting at someone before finding out who they are? <laughs> I am truly sorry. Your social status is clearly lower than mine, and you seem like a small fry, so I took the shot. Damn. Who are you calling a small fry? We are the aristocracy of Blood Parch. Really? It I, I say it down on anyone who looks suspicious and taxing them. Aristocracy, but you all look so shabby. Yeah, I'm a hundred percent with Seraphine on this one. But they, <laughs> nah, their lives were it. probably ruined by the lost, and they have since lowered themselves to being bandits. Shut up! Just listen. If you don't want to die, then hand over all the money you've got. Tutorial fight time. Tutorial fight time. Dirty bandits like you. Aren't you guys demons too? If you really need some money, then why don't you use force and take it? In any event, dirty bandits like you don't stand <laughs> Said if you know really said you're pure AO plus ratio. <laughs> AO plus ratio plus oh ho 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 plus. What are you talking about? You're gonna have to fight too. Uh, <laughs> Excuse me? <laughs> she is flabbergasted. I don't have time to protect an unsophisticated princess forever. I'll teach you the basics so that you can figure out the rest by yourself. Damn. Oh, you need to do manual labor? If you don't, then I'm leaving right now. <sighs> Very well, I'll fight. It seems I have no choice. However, I don't have any fighting experience whatsoever. Says the woman who's been very happy and fighting the way are guns. I'm surprised to hear you say that, given how often you've been firing. <laughs> See, exactly, he gets me. <laughs> hey, how long are you guys gonna chat? Hurry up and. Seems like they're ready to start. Prepare yourself. Uh, I guess I have no choice. In that case, I'll strip everything of value from those bandits. <laughs> Oh boy. Right. Uh, do you want to see the basics of battle? Yes. You and Kelly are the same XT. But let's start with the basics, <laughs> since you claim you've never fought before. <laughs> oh god. <laughs> Tutorial. Basics. I mean I hear I I can see First, it's clearly an edgy <laughs> character, so it's like maybe. Oh, just, just wait till I get involved with Torres. Uh, <laughs> let's hope I'm not like, oh, vampire character, he just like me for real, for real, and I just start trying to relate to every single Next, bit of Val Wacket. But uh, we'll, we'll cross that bridge when we get to it, for now, just tutorial time and learning. If you select the wrong character, place the cursor over that character. It will return the unit. Should I dispatch? Well, all printies look alike, right? I'm gonna eat you, dude! Now, try to give orders to the character you dispatched. <laughs> Leave it to me. Sadly, I've always is DLC. Yeah, but this is, um... So yeah, this is the complete edition of Disgaea 5, so doesn't this come with all the DLC automatically? PC have all DLC, so need not... Don't need to worry. Yeah, see, that's what I was wondering. I, I was thinking, I'm like, yeah, this is the complete edition, so don't I just get all the DLC? Yeah, I got the complete edition for, like, a big discount on sale. It was great. Uh, I've only got bad feelings about this, dude. <laughs> <laughs> so 
<laughs> you think I would play the Sky if I would not be prepared to play the vampire character? Select the attack command. You can get Vals right away if you're lucky because this stage is unlocked. Okay, when you say if you're lucky, um... Like, what do you mean by that? Is that like, if you're lucky enough to survive the fights in that DLC? Because uh, I don't imagine going straight into a DLC. Chapter is a good idea. I probably need a little bit of it hard. Yeah, I think I will do that a few chapters down the line. But yeah, oh, we will do it at some point though. The Lord. Oh, so they sink to my level, but it's just a. Uh... You know, once I get like a basic hang of the game, I think I'll give Val's chapter a try. We'll execute the registered action next. Press the button to bring up the menu and select either execute or end turn. Of course, for now. Anyway, I should probably be paying attention to the tutorial instead of being like, yo, win, Valton. But yeah, when, once I have a basic grasp of like going around doing stuff with my team and game mechanics, I, we, we will be going for Valve uh, That is a promise I can make to you all, chat. my servants as freely as I want. That's right. Register action. Execute. Remember this flow. Some DLC maps are hard. I suggest to try at least one ons before you give up. But why can't you attack right away when you select attack? That's a great question. Because it takes strategy to pull off team attacks and combos. Tutorial. Team I love the fan fade after he mentioned team attack and combos. Now let me teach you about team attacks and combo. Let's end this quick. Neil. Are you ready? Oh, pfft. oh, that's some like Mario and Luigi RPG shenanigans. These are team attacks and combos. <laughs> the love between Sir Kilia and I will explode into a passionate team attack and combo. You're going a little too far with the love and passion. Don't stick anything weird in between the lines. When attacking, <laughs> if an ally is next to you, it may trigger a team attack. Up to four people can join a team attack. Uh, right, so grouping up units together when attacking is a potential good thing. A combo is and I imagine the downside is like, hey, don't get hit by you, these nerds. The damage increases the longer the combo is. Yeah. Performing team attacks and combos requires you to register actions. I see. Taking that into consideration, team attacks and combos wouldn't be possible if you attacked right away. When using multiple allies, actions will be executed in the order they were registered. Combos adds 10% damage per combo max at 3 times the damage. Ah, right, so basically... I'm guessing like a basic strategy in the name of the game is you want to try and get as much combos as you can going. Um, actually, I'm wondering, is that how you do like so many like... Uh, like back to back, like big scream out sh shit, right? On and like when you play the Skya, is that like, because of combos or As a beginner, uh, am I like not understanding that right? Because I'm just the, the, the mind is curious and wondering. to the enemy's turn. If you carelessly end your turn, it'll fight you back hard. Uh -huh. press. Uh. <laughs> Why did you press it? <laughs> oh, 
man is getting jumped. Yo, the 69 crit counter attack? When you line up character and do a basic attack, that will start a combo. Right. Oh, okay, okay, now here's a joke for Scraping Kami, uh, me when I make a, a, an oops in Baldur's Gate 3. <laughs> oh god, now I'm really into Seraphina, what is wrong with me? <laughs> From now on, I should be more worried of you instead of the enemies. And if that is not a line that's Scraping a nutshell during Baldur's Gate 3, I don't know what is. <laughs> And then there are skills like the screen mook. Ah, right. So, oh, okay, so a different thing, right, I see. You won't be able to fight. You can recover at the pocket Netherworld's hospital. My, so it doesn't mean that you die? Right, because we're demons. We don't die that easy. However, if all dispatch characters are defeated, then you can't dispatch anymore, and it's game over. Alright, so I just have to make the Prinnies charge, right? How did you process all that information and arrive at that result? Someone said BG3 and only finally being competent. <laughs> yeah, no, I was. T yeah, no, it's just the little dialogue of your lines back and like, oh, <laughs> just like, oh, oops, I accidentally pushed the button. I shouldn't. I guess I was a bit overwhelmed. It's like me and Baldur's Gate three. Just well, the, uh, anyway, the shenanigans. The menu, the okay, well, I'm getting better and more confident sure. at that game. You know, we don't have to do that now. Fight. But anyway, that's a different right. game. It's time for the skill, yeah, real was... Let's begin. Oh, with that real battle? Right. Let's see what we got. Right, okay, I think we'll just start with, uh... Let's go. Kilia. So there's just... Ooh, ooh. Okay, right, uh... Cursor control, um... So do I want to start with placing everyone first, or do I just, like... Start with Kilia's turn and then I'll place the next person afterwards? Uh, actually, hold on, can I? Yeah, let's see. So only 24. Oh, okay. Whatever, right? Uh... Oh, hold on, can I? Oh, yeah, I can just use the mouse instead. Right. Place peeps first. Right, got you. Actually, yeah, I can just, uh... Oh, wait, no, 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 don't want to do that yet, uh... Oh, wait, then I need to move it off the... Panel first, is that what I need to do? Do it. Right, I'll just move you behind, uh... Oh, right, okay, uh, and then, uh... Oh, so hold on, I know they mentioned, uh... I myself like to use one after another and ch change if needed, right... Uh, I don't know, here... <laughs> I have no idea about specific placement, but it's a tutorial, I don't need to worry that much. Uh... Oh, wait, hold on, no. Right. Oh, wait, no, that's me to spend over here. Right, okay, hold on. Oh wait, hold on, I think I accidentally pushed the... Uh... 
Oh, wait, I've accidentally dispatched the guy. Or. Let's go! Yeah, put him away. Right, okay, okay. Right, this is just me getting a hang of the controls. Maybe, uh. See, I don't know if I should have went with controller, but I thought, oh, maybe I'll try keyboard first, but. Oh, it's a, a smidge fiddly. Uh, When you attack red bar, attack kills if yellow how much damage you feel. Ah. Wait, hold on. What? Attack entry? Wait, no, I see how it is, so I'm lining up the attack for the combo, at least I think this is, if I'm understanding it right, and I don't think, yeah, okay, the, the primary can uh, attack, so, and then execute. Right, I think... Oh! That was... Overkill. Oh, wait, no, right, I'm getting it now because I need to, like, set up the attack command and then I execute when I want to execute. Right. I know the tutorial said it, but it's like... It's one of those things, it's like, oh, when it gets actually put into practice, uh... So, Kelly is faded, but... Seraphina isn't, so is she able to do... Oh, she can still do an action because uh, that command I executed counted as Kelly's turn. Is what I think I'm understanding here. Uh, I mean, she's got a gun, so like... Can I... Oh, right, so your attack pattern is only like that. Um... I'll just move you a bit closer to this guy. Uh, right, I think this is all I can do in this turn, so... Uh... Actually, no, we could probably... get more... People in the field? Hold on, what is your attack range actually? Oh, there we go. Okay, so the maid's got a big attack range. Uh... Um, it will go with you. And then we'll execute that. You can attack this at 2 out of 3. Oh wait, hold on, right. Uh, you targeted the same enemy, so when Killia killed him, it didn't eat Sarah's action. Right, see, I thought because the action included both of them, that it would have taken up both their turns. I didn't realise, like, oh, that just counted as Killia's attack. Right, that's actually cool, that's a cool neat thing. Uh... But yeah, I think that's all I can do for this turn, so I'm just gonna end turn and see what happens. See... Oh no, they made abuse. <laughs> oh, okay. Um... Actually, hold on. I don't, I don't know if this is gonna work. Gonna I wanna you. see. Did I get to do a funny Prenny combo? Um. Oh, wait, no, that's just. Uh... And then, uh. 
Maybe we're gonna move you away and you are just going to Yeah, attack me with this guy here. And I think you can just execute from here. Do the penguin combo. What are they gonna do? Right, uh, I do like uh, the kind of flexibility you have for taking your turns. I feel that this would be a very good day uh, for... Uh, flexibility or... Uh, hold on, we'll move you there. And then, yeah, we'll execute that. Combo two. Eh, uh, the hell is that in screen? Uh, you did well for your first time at this radio. We'll be used to this very soon. Those are the spoils of battle. They're called stage bonuses. Uh, the prizes you earn for clearing on a stage depend on how well you performed during a battle, depending on your units. The bonus gives you follow the more it fills up, the more prizes you get. Right, okay, I see. You can fill bonus gauge by defeating enemy with combos. You should seek to attack an enemy consecutively with multiple allies. What is this one time bonus for every stage? It's better than other prizes. If you get the one time bonus, it will be. If you fail to obtain it, keep trying until you get it. A, my favourite victory screen, one male is lucky. <laughs> oh, I see. If there's a bonus that you really want, then you should try your best to fill the bonus good. Ah, so we got an incentive for replayability. An award ceremony, is it for my beauty? The MVP, the stages, the characters who contributed the most to filling up. Also, I feel there's some fun irony in the fact that Serafina got outclassed by Prinny in terms of like MVP. <laughs> it's a shortcut to getting strong, I'll keep the strategies for filling bonus gauge in mind. <laughs> Kelly, you can now use the recruiter dude. Oh boy, the preparations took longer than I thought. At the recruit, you can recruit person that suit your requirement. Oh boy, I've. Mm. I feel we're gonna have some fun here with the recruiter. What should they do to get more new servants? If you want to increase the number of characters, uh, select the talk option higher character. You can make characters now, but get to special content for- Whoa, 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 okay, okay, so I need to go- Alright, since you said- Oh, wait, hold up. Come on, it's free, not an ally, it's a servant. Alright, we gotta hire someone for Strygon, eh, uh, before the special content. Why can't I recruit a strong dragon? Do I know dragon is, like, eventually one of the recruitable things? If you haven't earned the trust of their class, they won't let you recruit them. Uh, okay, let's see. Right, Warrior Valkyrie, their duty is to fight in the front lines, the warrior's uh, endurance of close combat. The female, unlike the male, has high speed and specializes in hit and runs, also good with a bow. Magician Witch, they use magic from a distance if you use the magic they use it to expect high damage. Stronger magic, useful for fighting strong enemies. Burns through SP quicker. Magic nonsense and right. against physical attacks. You want a magic user in your party for sure. Monks fight by taking enemies, attacking, counterattacking. Fight mistress. The males aim for strong counterpoint. The females are speaking of evade. Okay. Claire gay, the healers. Weak but heal. I won't want to to fight a party that doesn't have any healers. 
The male was specialised in support magic in addition to healing, making cure elements where the heal the females have strong healing abilities. If you push after tutorial, you can see the passive. Ah, I see. Uh, the inclusive cure and support explore, which will be of great help. The mage, she specialises in using items, she can use items on top of doing other actions, so she serves many roles. She also has the attack item to throw a knife and then attack after that. Lastly is a prime monster character, different from humanoids. The biggest characteristic of monster is that they can use magic change command to become a humanoid's weapon. The type of weapon they become through depends on the base. Make sure the weapon suits the ally. Magician, Witch, or Clergy Cleric? Um, you know what? Sure, let's have... Uh, what do we want? More healing or... Su I mean, support as well could be... Good, uh... Can you roll things on who makes everything roll here, even down to the name? Alright, I'll search for the name AA and there's actually quite a few. Right, uh... Damn, see I was gonna do like, what, like steal a page from Dragon's but like, oh yeah, name characters after certain stuff, but it's like... I don't got anyone in mind for a healer. Uh, I don't suppose anyone has a random wacky healer name. Uh, let's see, uh... Uh, I don't, I don't know, uh... Oh wait, I can't even just type in the name, I have to like... Flower? I mean, oh, okay, I guess. Uh, I've, see, knowing you, Dragon, it's like, I'm guessing there must be like a reference or something here that I'm missing. And it's like, hmm, th there's, a, there's a meme within this simple name pick, but I don't know. Eh. Clerk is my favourite healer, passive when he is healed. Yeah, see, it's the extra support that made me think, like, yeah, this might be how nothing, right? The better the capacity, the stronger the demon will be, but it'll cost you. But it's free this time, right? You can only select between good for nothing and incompetent. I see, uh, well, I guess we would want incompetent. The stats of the demon you want to recruit. Uh, even if they are the same class of one of the high level, they will be higher than average. Or rather, I'm looking at the stats, so it depends on the class. Uh, um. I don't know why. You... See, I don't know how this guy's stats work. Oh! I'm gonna just give the bonus to HP the now, I'll figure out stats and knowledge later. Just to keep the stream moving along for t now. Can we please get one that's level 9999? It's free after all. Oh, it's it if you know you tried. If you want to recruit some that high, you have to be equally strong. Wait, so if we get to level, like, max level, can we just, like, recruit max level if we've got the money? Res because oh right so heal oh, okay resistance and healing right I'll keep that in mind for future personality this will not affect their stats so choose whatever you like uh, naughty manly or optimistic uh, I mean, uh, I, I, I don't know. 
maybe it's my own little like dark corruption, but I'm like, I I, I don't know. Maybe we'll have a little, you know, a little uh, let's have a naughty you know, little heretic. <laughs> Uh, hmm. You know, I kind of vibe with the red and white color scheme, so we'll go with this. Uh, I'll be sure to make sure everything's correct. Resistance is heal stat and magic. Defense speed is evasion stat and the gun this. And skip damage from it as well. Ray, I see, thank you. My main tennis and donation gets finished too. Make sure you don't forget to equip the recruit first. Ah, right. Anyway, so we can back out of this for now. So, what was it? A uh, Special content for three DLC classes. Uh, actually, is this the stuff we're getting right now? The special content sh shop stuff that I go on? Special content. Um, Uh, you can receive various special content that has been sent to the Sky 5 here. All the content is powerful, all the content is special, using wisely according to the situation. Uh, oh boy, uh. I see we're getting a lot of these helper prinnies, uh... Gift of hell, you can use it anyway. Uh, we're giving one million hell to all players. Oh, that might be a bit broken if I receive that, uh... Weapon star set? I mean, if it's a star set, it's hopefully that's not broken. Uh... I know the other one has been added to the ancient day. Uh, you can recruit Celestial Hostess at the recruiter. Yeah, I'm just grabbing all the use the note. Uh, Misa became an ally. Yes, can I get it? I'm getting lots of stuff. Uh... And then all oh, the primies, magical primy, <laughs> primy skill, primy p, primy primy evasion. Oh dear, primy destruction, tyrant primy. I like that. Value your life. <laughs> yeah, there's a. Quite a lot. Uh, right, so I've got everything except the gift of hell, which I'm just gonna save uh, for later. Uh, Welcome. Oh, 
combined weapons is recommend weapons that the character specializes in, weapon mastery of A or B. Proficiency is level Goro, quicker for a character who is equipped with a sword that specializes in swords. Uh, whether they specialize in it or not, you can unequip a sword, you can't use it. It's best to equip your favorite weapon and train with it. Generally, the more expensive the armor, the better, but that will be damaging to the wallets, I think, before buying. Well, considering that I got a bunch of free equipment, I don't know if I need to worry about that yet. Equip weapon starter pack. Value that life. <laughs> I will, but. Well. Can I really be valuing my life? Because, you know. Vampire undead. Value my. Un life? Right, uh... Oh, right, uh, I'm gonna need to go to hospital to get uh, Irene healed. Uh... Wait, hold on, so you are great stuff. Uh... Armor? Oh, wait, we don't have any spare armor, so we're gonna have to get some for that. Um... So we'll give you magic can, Serafina, we'll get the customized replica. Uh... Oh yeah, I wanted to check our... Okay, so all our like DOC characters get a... Uh... Wait, hold on. I just realised this printy has over a hundred thousand HP already. Uh huh. Busted weapons. Oh right, I thought they were good weapons. Eh? Are they like completely broken? Because I might take off the. Uh... I might take them off if they're absolutely busted. Yeah, like, you know, everybody's, like, got, you know, 75, you know, 20, 20, 49, uh, you know, Nisa kind of bulk at 74, and then just, uh, this printy has 100,000 HP at level 1. I mean, Metalius. Ah, right, right. It's because he has Evilitis. Increase max HP by 10 times 10,000. But oh, I see what the gimmick is. So he has a lot of health, but his stats will always be one. <sighs> Evility or like abilities, right? I see. Healing feet, the hospital becomes one hell. Eh. Oh, wait, actually, hold on. Maybe I should uh, change. Like, get rid of that, because that's going to be kind of broken up. Alright, oh, so, funny funny enough, Rigon, because I was actually talking with Ash about this guy, because I told him as well. And he did tell me that Pringus could be a funny meme thing, because, oh, you know, this ability, Explode When Thrown. Yeah, Explode When Thrown and deal 50% of damage of your max HP. So I've just got a walking 50,000 HP nook. Uh, 
walking about. <laughs> like, god damn, I have got that thing on me. <laughs> Let's fix you up. <laughs> anyway, we are going to carry on with main content for now because, uh, as much as I would like to try and get more with Torres, uh, not that confident. Oh my god, that's a lot of stuff. Um, I'm guessing this is all the the DLC. So, uh. I'm sticking with Flood Porch. Did you see Metalia's intelligence res? I, was I didn't, of but I'm gonna imagine it's bastards. quite high. Oh, do you see? Yep. Metalia, right, I'm gonna have to check Metalia's stats uh, after this. Lost. No, we're. So, have you come to take the head of me? The Overlord of Blood Park, Logan! You overwhelmed me with numbers in the previous battle, but it's not gonna be that easy for you this time! Even though I've gotten long in the tooth and I'm wounded all over, I was once the feared throwing Overlord! And I'm still sharp! Lift and throw! Lift and throw! Lift and throw! DLC jump throw. scare. <laughs> yeah. Oh, well, I wonder what this tutorial is going to be. <laughs> My limit, bruh. He's out of breath before the battle even starts. Looks like this is all a big misunderstanding. Oh god, we're just oh, eating in the middle of fight again. You're eating again? Acting so casual before fighting an overlord. Now that is my circilia. This is a great opportunity. I'll teach you all about lifting and throwing. Did we get to lift and throw her? Now let me throw my funny uh bulky prani right. with a hundred thousand oh, HP. Let's go. Enemies won't always be within your attack range. That's just a reality. What should you do in that situation? I know. Just make a pretty charge. You're too cruel to your prinnies. <laughs> Tutorial. Lift and throw. You should use lift and throw. Go ahead and give the lift command a try by lifting me up. Me lift up Sir Killia? That's impossible. I've never held anything heavier than a slice of cake. Just do it. Dumb. Throw me toward the enemy. The numbers surround you can the ask Kami to kill the them or me to throw my hammer at them. There's <laughs> no, you can throw it's four right now. It depends on who's throwing. Ah, I see. Yeah. And that's it. Now the distance to the enemy is closer can reach them next. How to apply it. I'm gonna eat you, dude. You can lift more than one character. Oh. Here I am. Huh. Well, wait. Sir Killian? The whole last tower? Okay. You can lift multiple allies like this to form a tower. After that, you can throw them in order to travel farther distances. I see. If I throw the printing next. That's right. Oh, okay, I see. Lifting and throwing. One, if you end your turn while lifting an enemy, you'll take damage. Two, if you throw a printing. For some odd reason, they explode. If you throw a pretty, oh, it explodes? <laughs> Madam Serafina, you don't have to go 
Oh, rep random third ray. <laughs> so if you throw a penny at insta kills them. Look like you enjoyed that, but don't do it too much. Go down. Must just like if I was kept from left command, dude. Dude, we don't have we don't have a future. Don't want monsters with their own specialties. Montos and receive instead of left monsters have Montos. I like to read the destination of a Montos is set for you. You won't be able to hold the humanoid up, so be careful. If you throw a unit on top of an ally monster, the monster will perform a receive. When receive happens, the monster will bounce the unit in the direction it's facing equal to its throw range. You can throw a character really far. Oh, I see. Our fe <laughs> it's amazing, it seems like our future is looking great, dude. Prenies who are tossed by Montos will explode, be careful. Oh, and so... <laughs> right, so we can have up to 10 characters. Oh my god, already? I can see the skin getting very wacky already. Like, oh, all the, oh, the Prenies. Uh... Hold on, what's Tyrant Prey? Do I want to see? One hit explosive. Can attack three consecutive times, but you know will be defeated after attacking. Right, I see. Value your line. Oh wait, I wanted to just look at the. <laughs> you know what? Whatever. Uh. Increase stats. By Ally Prince, Prince defeat times t Oh, hold on, you sound like a really funny one. Yeah, I like how. Because I'd heard before, obviously, that Prince are kind of seen as the joke character, not that great. I love how these DLC Prince are all like extremely just gimmicky. But I, I kind of like value your life, honestly. Increase stats by all. by Ally Prince defeat times t I think we could do some really funny strategies with value your life, honestly. I'm gonna do stuff with Coffin Prinny. Yeah. Like, I like this. In fact, you know what? Hold on, I kinda wanna... I know this was supposed to be the tossing tutorial, but uh... I think we can actually still do tossing right because I've got a plan right so we'll put value your life there and then we will summon uh, you know what just because I'm so curious about it oh wait can I oh wait I've put you in the way uh yeah, I'm, I'm a sorry about your life. Could you move, like, over here, maybe? And then you're my bulky boy. Uh, you are going here. And then it feels only fitting that we... Okay, Metallia, let... Oh yeah, okay, yeah, uh, Metallia's uh, got some high stats. If you throw a print and it's to an explosive, like a bad one or another, apparently they will also blow up. Oh, so we can cause a chain reaction. Uh, you've got the high hitting speed, high attacking speed. Right, I see. But, um, I think it would be most fitting if we then got Seraphina and... <laughs> A hundred. 
Wait, I thought it was only 50% of his HP. How did it end up doing 100? I, I don't care. 100k. We have the Nukonas. And now, uh, well, you really should be a bit stronger. Um, uh, right, let's see. Um, right, and now we're going to get a... Oh, you know <laughs> what we'll do me was a few lighter coffin print out uh and then we'll get and Here I go. You know, yeah, we'll just get Misa and Oh wait, not able to move. Oh wait, then I need to do drone first. Uh... Oh, maybe I should make the tower taller. Um... Is that gonna be close enough for the explosion to destroy the boxes? Ooh. Okay, that was an oops on my part. Uh, right, okay, that is a lesson to be learned, I suppose. Um, Let's go. Right, can I... To roll you far enough up there? Oh, I can. Right, that's good. Ah, but can't do any actions to now uh, after that. Mm. And I've put Kelly uh, like right in the way of all these <laughs> battles. Oh dear, I've made a mistake. Eh, well, um, in turn and deal with the consequences, I guess. Yeah, I think just the, the simple way of going about this without getting too crazy, we are just going to... Actually, do we got space to throw? Oh yeah, yeah, okay, we can yeah. throw them up here. Oh, right, uh, execute. Oh wait, hold on, no, not even. Uh... Wait, did I attack the chest? 100k was putting his HP. Alright, see, I thought it was uh, like 50% of the putting his HP that got dealt with damage, not the full. Fun fact, Metalli has 80% monster resistance. And you can rise it to 99%. Right, hopefully I'm not making a dumb mistake here, but I guess this is a fuck around and find out moment. Oh, okay, no, we actually do attack chests to open them right. Okay, good to know I'm not being completely dumb. 
And we're just gonna move you away from the explosive bottles. Um, and then we'll end the turn. I'm taking way more turns than I feel I should be. But then again, this was supposed to be the throne tutorial, but uh. I'm uh. doing my own thing? I, I promise I'll be better at using the new game mechanics. Uh. Execute with that, and that will be fine. Oh my god! What the? Black ass attack. Looks like you're from Master Jelly One Piece. You earn weapon master experience for using weapons or taking damage when the weapon master increases. You can drop more abilities with the weapon. You can learn weapon exclusive skills. Act the service to increase your weapon now, ready. Are you ready? And another mastery up. You okay? Uh, skip the demo? No. Tell you something, brother. This ain't over. Pretty sure it's over. The lost have taken everything from me, but I still have my pride as an overlord, dude. I, Logan, the throwing overlord, shall exact my revenge against you someday, dude. You better believe it, brother. <laughs> Looks like he was just one more victim of the lost. That concludes the basics of battle. You did well for your first time. You should be just fine without me. All right, looks like this is goodbye. No, no hesitation. Mine, Sir Kilia. Wherever you go, even if you go to the ends of Celestia, I shall follow you. How do you figure? Your objective is to defeat Demon Emperor Void Dark, correct? My objective is to erase Void Dark and rupture the marriage of convenience that my father decided upon on his own. Which means we are both in the same boat. We both seek to defeat Void Dark. Well... Damn, it just be like that, I guess, Kilia. No, it's more like we're husband and wife. How did you jump to that conclusion? Well, maybe not husband and wife, but we do share the same objective. So don't you think it'd be more efficient to work together? I can't see how working with someone who has no fighting experience would be efficient. Damn, no hesitation. I'll make sure I never drag you down. So please, Sir Kilia. Let me stay by your side. What you're saying and what you're doing are pretty contradictory, don't you think? <laughs> <laughs> well, that's because I'm a demon. She does make a fair point, to be fair. Quest shop is now open, there are already a lot of quests from many different nether worlds. Does anyone handle these? Anyone? Please? Is she a succubus then? I don't think so. I actually, I mean, she did have that weird charm skill, so. Or charm ability she used at the beginning, so like. Maybe, but I. I don't know, Rygon or. Mad, when are you, I'll, I'll leave one of you to answer that. You're the Sky experts, not me. She is. Oh, she is! Well, there you go. Wow. 
look at this quest, dude. Discover Kelia's weakness. The reward is one million sardines. I would do it, dude. Leave it to us. <laughs> Hmm. Oh, pardon me. Oh, so Sardine's like a, a running joke in this guy? Because I knew it was like a joke with uh, Val Valvatores, but it's like. So is it just like an overall joke of the series, or. <laughs> Teach me this guy, veterans. I, I wish to know the, the knowledge of the running jokes. Eh, uh, oh, what the? Okay, we got a lot of stuff here. It's excellent. <laughs> you can see that Madden said if he knows it's going to run out combat. Uh, combat lecture? Mm. Stealing special. Okay, these are stuff I. See, this seems like a lot of uh, tutorial ish stuff. And it's like, I might want to do that off stream. I don't know, I didn't come prepared with what to do on stream or not with the sky. I was not prepared. Buy me a camera, run. Give me gum, I don't mind if someone else already chewed. Huh? It's even better if it was chewed by a cute girl. The fuck? Yes, plenty payment is sorted. Oh, that's right, because isn't, um... Oh, what is it? Isn't it isn't like Valvator is like a pretty trainer or something like that? I think I vaguely remember hearing something along those lines. Eh... Uh... How to use armor. Yeah, okay, hold on. I am. Um... I don't know if you. Yes, yeah, and Sardines is his favorite food, gives him power. Oh, yeah, no, I remember hearing that because I think it's because, like. Uh, okay, I'm trying to think because I know it's something like. Valvator is like. Because of a promise or a deal, he doesn't drink human blood, so he goes for sardine blood instead, which I mean, like... You know, personally... I mean, I, I don't know the, the reason why. I'm sure there's like a blue reason, but I'm like... Mm, kinda cringe, wow, you know, dr drinking the blood that innocent humans kinda need. D don't question the, what I just said to him, the, you, you know, things... Th things happen when you join the vampire lifestyle, you know. M maybe I'll have to pick up a few sardines myself. <laughs> Combat lecture, right, uh... Now, where do I go to do the side quest? Would that be, like, somewhere in the dimension guide? Actually, hold on, what does... What does my excellent succubus have to say? Sir Kelly, you don't know anything. You can ask for more than to be allowed to be invited to the wealthiest and most beautiful woman in the universe. Why am I getting it with that? I suppose I must show you just how fortunate you are, Sir Kelly. Pranny! Did you call me Madam Seraphina, dude? Aren't you happy that you became my servant? Of course, every day is simply a repetition of regrets, too. <laughs> Next! <laughs> What's up, dude? Answer truthfully, aren't you happy to be serving me? That's a funny joke, dude. <laughs> Next! <laughs> and so one after another, the primaries became flowers scattered across the battlefield. Oh, I love this game's dialogue. About that battle. Is something bothering you? Was that really your first fight ever? Of course it's true, I make the prennies carry anything that's heavier than a cake. Taking that into consideration, you handle those pistols pretty well. Whatever. 
for the upcoming battles, you should gain experience so you can protect your save. Oh, there's no need to worry, I've already got that covered. I've already reached master level when it comes to combat. What kind of joke is that? <laughs> Madam Seraphina, take this dude. Too easy. Damn. Let's leave your progress aside for now. That Prenda looks to be unconscious. <laughs> Whether or not I hit him with the back of my sword, it was a gunshot though. Hit him with the back of my sword with a gun, that's master level in its own way. <laughs> Where would you like to go, dude? Right, on to the next stage now. Hmm. So these are the remnants of Blood Arch. Even though it's what Sir Void Dark ordered, fighting all these pieces of crap is dulling my skills. Then, can I take you guys on? <laughs> <laughs> Looks like there are still some who seek to oppose Demon Emperor Void Dark's elite forces. I'll give you a choice. Obey us or die. <laughs> I refuse to do both. What? mistaken if you thought all demons would grovel at your feet, lost Cretan. As a matter of fact, you are the ones who will be groveling. All men are destined to serve the overlord of gorgeous, Seraphina. Oh, it's an ortatora. Is this just like real battle time? Okay, let's go. Uh, I'm gonna try and not use the uh, DLC characters too much because they uh, seem like they might be pretty good for now. Um, although I don't know about the, the DLC like premise might be good though. Uh, anyway, um, let's go. You know, hold on, actually, I'm gonna send. Oh. Yeah, I think I'm gonna send Kelly over here. And then, uh. So yeah, she can attack this guy. Uh... And yeah, we'll execute that action. Oh, Alright, I want to hit kill, okay. One shot, good, good. Uh... I think I'm finally finding like, the control you set up a little more fluid now. Uh, Let's go! So we'll move all about like here should do. Eh, uh, no, hold on. Uh, I really don't have the enemy in range. Uh, do I need to go a bit higher? Well, eh. Uh, okay, that didn't work out. Uh, let's see, magical printer, what did we do? Uh, poor clever printer. Mean. 
Oh, it is like a different way from last three spots for these ones. Oh, well, eh. Uh, oops, slipped and pushed the wrong button. Uh. Defused. Unit will not explode. I printed it. Does it make explode? Mm. Strange, but we'll take it, eh. Uh, you know, we'll, we'll send you over here in case backup's needed. Uh. And then we will get. <sighs> Oh wait, I didn't go to the hospital, so well, your life still did. Oh, so I just noticed Bankai Prinu. I, I see what they've done here. Okay, what does Bankai Prinu do? After 20 turns, increase stats by 100%. Is that supposed to be like a jab of how long some bleach fight scenes go on? I, I think... Eh... Uh... Yeah, we just get one of the the normal things. We'll go give Kelly a hand. Oh, there's just no doing anything. Okay. Uh. I don't know if trying to combo is the way to go here. Oh yeah, it's still barely gonna do any damage to him. Uh, did we get it to the boxy zone? Is it because like he's up above us? The advantage is that what I'm understanding right from this. Oh yeah, there we go, because now we can actually damage him. Up, oh, the crits. Okay. Dude. Oh, what? He left 1 HP. Oh. So sad. Eh. Five pounds. Wait, I don't know if this will work because they're different elevation, but I'm too curious to check out. No, oh, okay, okay, that kind of worked. <laughs> right, so it's like. Okay, I see how the really kind of works. Uh. What does Martian print? What do you do? Evade attacks uh, rate 90%, but max HP becomes one. Oh, you're funny. Uh, you know what? It's comedic. I'm bringing them in. <laughs> Oh, hold on. Uh, well, actually, no, this is funny. Evasion, so I don't think I want to steal him. Wanna 
I'm trying to zoom in Hey, right, um... Am I able to attack you on a different layer? Right, we can do that. <laughs> Just let you shimmy away. You attack that guy as well, and then we'll execute that. What's up, dude? Yuck, dude. Oh, funny, Penny got mastery at least. Uh, Oh, how much did you survive on? Three? Okay, at least it wasn't one HP again or I would have just died inside. Okay, yeah, I think we've done all we can here. <laughs> After this down healer, hey, can I get the Prenny to join in? Uh, and that just leaves this guy. Oh, wait, no, no, we've also got this guy here. Uh, You know, yeah, it just... Yeah. That will finish that off. I feel like this is a long shot, but can I...? Ah, uh, right now I can't throw him all the way there. I knew that was a long shot, but... Uh, I felt it was worth a try. Um... Can I attack? Okay, no, I can't even attack the guy from here, so, uh... Right there. We are just going to... <laughs> oh, her, her sprite. Yes, so, sorry. <gasps> Wait, we can throw Serafina over, though. Huh. Yeah, she won't die when she gets up on that guy. She'll be able to do a counter-attack. That'll be fine. Eh... Uh... I am definitely not encouraging any Seraphina abuse in this stream, I promise. Yeah, I'm only throwing her because I believe in her. Yeah, <laughs> See, you the crap. I haven't even got any skill for it. There we go. Oh, it's a little bit surely getting the hang of the game. <laughs> Impossible! We, the lost, were defeated? Who are you? Could you be Red Magnus? The overlord who has a bounty on his head? <sighs> Quick! We have to call for him! Red Magnus? took me for someone else. D did they say Red Magnus? Do you know him or something? Oh boy. Yes, I do. Just thinking about him is giving me a headache. Red Magnus is the overlord of Scorching Flame, known and feared for being violent incarnate. He is boorish, has absolutely zero tact, and has less intelligence than an orc. Fact, oh yeah, Red Magnus. Uh, wasn't this the funny character you showed me, Ragon, that one time? The 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 unleashed characters you put funny Unga Bunga violence. 
I do. The Netherworlds of Elisa Thing. I'm thinking of the right character. Since my seven times great grandfather's time. I have never had a pleasant experience whenever Red Magnus has gotten involved. I don't want to ever see that man again. But I have a bad feeling. Right, actually, before we move on, we have got to take a trip to the Let's hospital. Fix you up. Uh, oh, there we go, heal. <laughs> Thank God there's an option for that. Where would you like to go, dude? <laughs> yes, Red Magnus. <laughs> Ah, uh, so something tells me uh, that very soon we'll be seeing <laughs> the funny Ungerman. You seem to be quite delighted, but if you don't check the enemy's lights, you could be in trouble. Ah, uh, here we go, ability tutorial time. The orc has group strategy that was enhances abilities for every ally that's within two panels of him. Which may end up being centered by a group of enhanced orcs. We have evil as well, my evil to enhance my abilities every time I attack. Queen's Temper. Increased damage against male units. Yeah, that sounds about right for Seraphina. If you understand the quality of the evil you can fight better. Wait, so we can see you and then these move rings, right? That's neat. Uh... Right, okay, so right, let's see, we've got two orcs. Actually, two orcs up there. Right, uh Let's go. Oh wait, but I think I risk being jumped by if I do that, uh... Huh. Oh, actually, maybe what we could try is... Here I go. Yeah, we'll get... Oh, I guess we could pretty much move ourselves. But what we'll do, uh... Just so that the DLC characters aren't doing too much uh, carrying. Wait. I don't want it to say since I'm literally carrying someone, but uh. Yeah, you go there. And then you can just uh. Actually, hold on. Triple strike. This is 4 SP. Even that didn't kill. Oof. Eh, whatever. Go we'll die this next turn anyway. Even if you get your little buff. Uh. Oh wait, hold on. So... Damn, so basically we, in that calculation, like, made it... Didn't really hit that part. Ah, uh, whatever. This is why we've got to say if you know, for the ranged combat. Uh... 
and it would. Oof. Damn, where is my raid notification? A, uh, I, I see it in chat, but ha, huh, that's weird. Okay, yeah, my raid notifications need to get checked. Um, anyway, that little technical hiccup aside, uh, Zelfie, thank you for the raid, uh, and welcome raiders. Um, I am Unleashed Nick the Fool. I am a vampire PNG tuber, a variety streamer, and today uh, we are playing Disgaea 5. It is my first time playing any of the Disgaea games ever, so, you know, we're tutorial time, uh, a little touch and go. Um, actually, what was it you were playing? I thought I saw a mention of, like, Sea of Thieves. I hope the stream went well for y'all. Uh, and of course, you know, if you need to get, you know, Zelfie if you or your fellow readers need to rest up, uh, you know, take a chill pill, grab a snack, uh, after the raid, you, of course you're welcome to do so. We are just kind of chilling and slowly figuring this funny tactics game out, uh, one step at a time. But I'm happy to see y'all here. Uh, anyway, where was I? So, uh... Yeah, Seraphina has a gun, and that's a lot better than the, <laughs> the zombie made with the bow. <laughs> uh, I'm really just... Yeah, I'm really confused why my... Raid alert didn't go off. I've not had any of my alerts going off today, and that's a bit... Weird. Hold on, I wonder, like... Hmm... You know, uh, we'll, we'll, uh, I'll deal with that later. We have got funny gameplay to get on with. <laughs> Uh, right, so I think everyone here is done. Uh... Oh, wait, we can bring back value your life. Uh... No, hold on. I think we'll wait and. Um... Yeah, we'll bring in this little guy. Uh, and we'll bring in some more prinnies on the next turn, depending on how things go, because I want to just see what the enemy does here. Okay, two dodges from Killer, good. We can't hurt that guy. Eh. Oh, gee, why are we aiming all the way up there? Um. Right, so what we're gonna do is we will get. You know, we'll get one of the normal prennies, uh, move them here, and then we're just gonna throw you. Dude. Uh, right, so that's one dead prenny, so that will be something to power up. Value oh, actually, speaking of value your life, where is... Oh wait, no, that's not all I want to do. Uh, yeah, value your life, that's who we want out, that's our... Our Chad, uh, bring him here. You are going to move here and then I'm gonna let you move through you. Make sure I throw the correct one. Uh... Oh wait, I forgot. This is the one that actually has the ability that makes him not explode. Oh, I've done another dumb, another goof up. Oh, whatever. Uh, attack. And then... Uh... Yeah, you know what? Why not? We'll, we'll probably... Oh wait, go because uh, I already did command stuff with you. Um, but what we could do is move value your life over, and that sh should trigger a combo if I'm correct. I think. Okay, it does. Good, that actually needs good mechanics. And 
Okay, yeah, right. You... You can at least move. Right, good, good, good. So you can move up here to help kill you. And then value your life uh, is going to take this orcs away. Or... Barely manage. But what if? <laughs> Hold on. Um, what if we got a... Uh, uh, you know, we'll pull out one of the other normal pennies. Put you here. And then all of a sudden I've got another combo attack. So this should kill? I'm, I'm literally just... Oh, okay, maybe that didn't work as well as I thought it would. Uh... Oh, and you can't even reach... Uh... Anyway, so let's go up to this side of the field, um... And then we'll just say it's uh, a simple little attack, uh... And we'll end the turn here. This horse... Oh, he's not gonna attack Kellyan? Oh, but she's just gonna kill her instead, um... And then we will lift and throw Killia there. And then we'll just go through and execute that command. Yeah, the one shot, you'll love to see it. Um <laughs> Oh, those crits now. Okay. Okay, I see how it is. Uh, how many have we got left? One and then the two enemies here. Billion? Uh, hold on, can I? Right, there has to be a way I can, like, specifically read the effect of the evility because it's all nice to see bullying but it's like what exactly does that do oh well um mm. we'll, we'll wing it for now and uh, hopefully nothing really bad happens Uh, you know what? Hold on. We're gonna just move you in the way of danger. And not value your life because I want the other friends to be in danger so that he'll get stronger. Uh, right, I have little faith in the move, but uh Can she maybe at least like No she can't okay, we don't even have the range. Uh, never mind. But hold on, actually, what we could maybe do is... Oh, she can't even move to the mid range. Uh... Yeah, okay, I think we're going to this turn here then. I'm going glamorously. Hmm... I've literally just been losing Misa for th Toss and Killer this entire time, eh? Uh... <laughs> Actually, hold on, we can do that special again, because... Oh, wait, it... I thought we'd have a funny chain effect, but it's like, oh, it's obstructed there, that's a shame. Right, okay, so let's move... 
Yeah, we will lift you up here. Let you move here and then see if. Oh, it's just not enough to run distance. Uh, you know, sure, just get your ass over here again. Uh, I'm glad he's not taking any damage. Is that because of the gloves? Well, we got a few of the bonuses, so I'm gonna take that as a sign that I'm doing better. Hopefully. Uh... Oh, wait, hold on. We did take a little bit of a rain, so back to hospital. Let's uh, fix you up. Heal all. Where would you like to go, dude? Yeah, we can do some more stages than now. Uh you Oh, there he is. There's the boy. The lost without suffering the consequences. Either you obey the laws or you die. Are you prepared? Yeah! <laughs> Don't make me laugh. Red Magnus challenges you lost jabronis to a fight. Just bring it. Yep, de definitely got the vibes of an unleashed uh, character. My, so my bad feelings proved to be true. Yes, Sir Kilia, that monkey is indeed. I see you finally made it, Red. Ma Yo, hey Phoenix, how you doing? Yeah, so going through my my little uh, f first disguise, uh, y you know, first time disguise, and yeah, yeah, I have heard things of Red Magnus. I think Rygon showed me. A little bit of gameplay, but um, yeah, I'll we're finally give you here. One last chance. Obey or die. Shut your mouth! If you're not gonna come to Red Magnus, then Red Magnus will super go to you. Oh my god! <laughs> Oh yeah, I like this character. Your lost superiors would be shocked if they found out. You couldn't possibly be Red Magnus's real opponent. Now hurry up and fetch your bastard of a boss, Boy Dark. He's like a vicious dog. This guy's full of fighting spirit! Oh, are we gonna have to actually fight Red Magnus? Boy Dark. Which means the Demon General of the Lost is finally making his entrance. This monkey, does he truly not recognize me? <laughs> the overlord of Scorching Flame, Red Magnus. Looks pretty tough. He even talk. He's the definitive unleashed character. He even talks in Unga. Yeah, oh yeah, he's definitely got the Unga talk. Eating again? It's endangered pork ramen made with megaton pork and a broth made of chimera beef. You, you've got guts eating a meal right before going one on one with the supreme one. If you're hungry. Then the overlord of Scorching Flame, Red Magnus, will super feed you the highest quality fire. Such fighting spirit. I love the granny hats. <laughs> Are you the lost demon general? Have you come to take the head of the supreme one? No. My business is with Boy Dark. Did you pick a fight with that piece of monkey crap or something? 
<laughs> Is that so? Red Magnus never imagined someone else besides the Supreme One would ever do that. That makes us allies. That's what I'd like to say. But when men face each other on the battlefield, Oh yeah, that's definitely on the spirit talk. <laughs> no, I don't mind stopping. <laughs> the voice Whoa, of reason. Nah, we don't do that here, Kilio. Would be super happy to fight with a strong guy like you. <laughs> I see. You've got good taste. So you agree? Red Magnus is super excited. So? Oh, okay. <laughs> this is my overload skill, Super Olympia. It's a super ability that doubles my size and power and overwhelms all my enemies. Just so you know, when the time limit runs out, Red Magnus will return to normal size and will be a little sore. Hmm. Really, what's such a gigantic thing, dude? Overlord Red Magnus is sparking with energy. This pen works for me and doesn't even know what overlords in revenge mode are. I saw Madam Seraphina and Overlord the low being using them. Not quite sure what they are. Let me explain. Revenge mode and overloads. First the condition where it looks like Red Magnus is bursting with electricity. That's revenge mode. To get to this condition, you have to fill up your revenge gauge. You can check the revenge gauge by looking at the far left part of the character stats. Yeah, I have noticed that gauge, actually. The gauge symbolises the character's rage and desire for vengeance. Oh, and even normal enemies have them as well. Oh, okay. Several ways to fill up the revenge gauge. You or your allies take damage, your allies are defeated. You defeat an enemy that is in revenge mode. So having enemies in revenge mode is a good chance for us to fill up our revenge gauge and into revenge mode, you're catching them. So when you're in revenge mode, you get the following benefits. Crit rate becomes 100%? Okay, I'm interested. SP cost for all skill becomes 1, that sounds funny. 25% damage reduction. I think we'd be careful that they enter revenge mode. If you defeat an enemy in revenge mode, your revenge gauge will increase. Revenge gauge is something that will be important for you to know about because everything has a revenge mode, and that mode can be what's between you and getting wiped by a boss. Oh! Okay, I see. They make defeating enemies in revenge mode worth the effort. And during revenge mode, overlords will be able to use a secret skill their overload. The effect of the overload depends on the individual overlord. Dread Magnus' overload to turns him into a giant. Super Olympia. <laughs> Ballard Gaze. Do you have an overlord? I'm not an overlord, I don't have any skills that I could call an overlord. I can't help but believe you have the power of an overlord. <laughs> uh, if revenge mode activates, don't lose the opportunity, that will start. Interest me, one of the later bosses, when they revenge mode, they can one tap you if you're not careful. Oh god. <laughs> okay, I will keep that in mind. Great, let's see what we're working with here. So, three orcs. So I imagine like Red Magnus is just gonna be doing his own thing. Like, surely I don't need to f like. It's, he's just gonna rampage and like fight the enemies like uh, his own unit. I'm guessing. Red Magnus acts on his own for this map. Right. Mm. 
Right, well, he would be dealing with the stuff here, so I'll be thinking more about, uh, just focusing on the stuff on the left. Right. I think we'll just spend this first turn just getting people out and focusing on positioning. Yeah, i not do anything crazy in the now. Just say, see what happens. Here's the neutral. Alright, so we. Don't need to fight Red Magnus, because I, because the way it was going, I thought it was like, oh, we need to fight him, because you know, Unger Man wants to scrap. But uh, so what I'm getting, so hmm. you know what, we'll just go and see what happens. Uh, yeah, 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 yeah. Let me think. Um. Toss you far enough because I'm not. Oh, yeah, no, that's. Okay, yeah, okay. Uh, it's, it's not your time, Drake. Uh... <laughs> Can we toss Kelly up? Uh... Yep. Yeah. Right, up you go. Yeah, he'll, he'll be fine on his own. Uh... And you know, we don't really need to worry about Drake because if he dies, uh, value your life just gets stronger, so. And the counter kills. No! Oh my god, okay, finally got one shot. But Kelly is in revenge mode now, so that's cool. Eh, uh, sometimes we're not going to be able to attack because he's on a different layer. Oh wait, no, we actually can attack him. Okay, good, that makes him happy. So and then uh, yeah, we just need to execute that. Don't need to do anything fancy. Ah, uh, hold on. Eleven HP. Mm. And then execute that. Right, that's not a combo that can happen. So 
So if they execute, uh, hmm, can I execute like special commands together? I'm guessing that'll be a thing I can do with combos as well later in the game. Oh my! <laughs> Panzer Strike! Uh... Oh yeah, we're not on the right player. Uh... You know what? This is just gonna be uh... a move people closer to them, guess. And... Okay, no, okay, yeah, we, we got a scrap with Ma <laughs> Red Magnus, okay. God, trying to go goddamn delete. Uh, though we do have uh, a, a Seraphina in <laughs> the revenge state, so... Oh god, that's a lot of HP though. Um, Cause I was gonna say I would move Killian down so the two of them could do a team attack on Red Magnus, but I probably wanna clear out the little guys first. Uh, oh, I just barely gonna survive this. Uh, wait, hold on. No. Because apparently that's just my... Yeah, what if a triple strike does... Yeah, that kills, okay. Phantom Blow learned. You can use Seraphina's overload skill since she's the only one you have out with one. Oh, that's right, overloads exist. Yeah, I gotta remember that. Use skills aggressively to try to level them up. Oh, male units within five panels will be inflicted with jump. Oh, right. Right, so that should chill Red Magnus out for a bit. And then, uh, You know, on your next thing, you're probably just gonna try and attack Kelly and get yourself killed by a counter, so... Oh, wait. Casting magic. Doesn't affect him, smile XD, I think. Yeah, so. <laughs> yeah, you know, the thing with Unger is, uh, you, you know, when you're true longer, you don't fall for the, the, the charms or temptations. Bro was too Unger to be charmed. Yeah, it, it'd be like that sometimes, you know. Like, you ain't just gonna be like a woman, do a little feminine charm and get that with the Unger Man to. <laughs> to just be charmed like that. Um... Yeah, I think I need to punch. I feel I need to punch the cactus, but there's something in my mind that's like punching the cactus is probably a bad idea. I'm punching the cactus. Punching the cactus did not do anything bad. He's more of a man type of guy. I mean, hey, I don't judge him. Right, Red Magnus can be into whatever he wants to be. Also, God, I have to fight the temptation almost every time to not call him Rex Magnus. <laughs> it still like has ruined me. Um, Seraphina, you're going to die. Uh. Let's 
just get the skill use, you know, for leveling up in the long run. No, trust me, I called him Rex Magnus to God damn, it's the link is ruined us. <laughs> Um, oh, no, uh, yeah, you know what? Maybe, <laughs> maybe Flutter will get the, their shit right instead. But, uh, yeah, we give uh, said if we need a little heal. I don't go like what from that, uh... Oh, whenever someone made it, that's a non DLC character we can summon, uh, enough range? Nope. Uh, actually, hold on, what if we... I do have the tactical nook. But I would really like that screen at this point in the game, so we are just going to... I don't even know if I'm going to have enough throw range for this, but I... we'll, we'll never know if we don't try. Oh, thank goodness, okay, so that is the only one condition for that fight. Because <laughs> if I had to actually beat a uh, Red Magnus, I was going to be a bit scared. <laughs> You're good. Just as Red Magnus expected. So we recruit you now, right? I think you've tasted Red Magnus as full power. The real fun super starts now. Stop right there. No matter how hard a muscle-brained monkey tries, they would never be able to defeat my Sir Killia. I, I thought for a second she was going to make a joke of like, no matter how many... <laughs> no matter how hard the muscle brain tries, it's gone! And it's like, oh, are, are they doing a call-out that the zoners oppress the Unga people? What did you say you've been? Uh, wait, you're... Did you just notice? Yes. I am the Rathlesia that blooms on the battlefield, the Overlord of Gorgeous, Sarah. Yeah, yeah! You're the shrew princess of Gorgeous! I am certainly not a shrew princess. I am now the Overlord of Gorgeous. Address me as Madam Overlord Seraphina. Yeah, oh, that's boy. right. Sarah something. <laughs> I just super remembered right now. So, what are you doing here? That is my question for you. What is the Overlord of Scorching Flame doing here? And why are you fighting alone? Eh, yeah, that's how the ungly feet. You know, you scrap up. You do the funny fighting alone. Eh, uh, you know, I did that myself in my funny lore. And that certainly took me places. Well, you know, the Supreme One just needed to release some stress. So he was having some fun with the Lost. That look! Got something you want to say? Your fighting style. It looks like you're exerting your inner rage. Y inner rage? Stop talking super nonsense! Fine. I guess I was mistaken. Sorry about that. What in the red hell? You're a demon, but you're apologizing? Weird. Well, as long as you understand, it's fine. So, that's the gist of it. Let's get going! And just like that, he has invited himself into huh? our party. What do you mean, let's? <laughs> nice. <laughs> you guys picking a fight with Void Dark too? Red Magnus certainly is! So, let's go together and have super fun! I love him already. This character is great. <laughs> I welcome any man who will be an asset in battle. But I refuse tactless monkeys. Now, go back to your mouth. Nah, step down, Serafino. What? Who cares? It's not like it's gonna cost you anything. Red Magnus says let's go together. Do whatever you please. 
Kill it, just there's no kill. Wait! Sir Killia! I just said that I'm opposed to that idea! Alright, then it's settled! Now, let's turn it up! You're in the presence of Red Magnus! Soon, I'll beat down Void Dark and become the strongest overlord! Nice to super meet ya! The Scorch and Storm Overlord Red Magnus became a super ally. Those two have swell, it's fine. It's only until Void Dark is murdered, so I suppose I'll forgive them. Those two will simply end up working for me. <laughs> that Killia person. What is with his ridiculous magic potential? He could be very dangerous, which could make him very useful. <laughs> According to historians, Void Dark had taken over or destroyed over 30% of the entire Netherworlds. If Furious God, Anguish Illusion, Miserable Corpse, or any of the other Netherworlds that were hanging on by a thread had fallen, over half of the entire Netherworlds would have been under his control. On the other hand, Roaring Rampant, Brutal Beast, Dragon Fang, and the other giant Netherworlds hadn't yet fallen. Those who were expecting the giant Netherworlds to offer resistance against the Demon Emperor finally saw a ray of hope. Hmm. And that is the end of episode one. I'm Seraphina. I'm a temptress who wallows in riches and fame throughout the entire universe. All men in this universe belong to me. Now, kneel before me. Ah. <laughs> uh. My lovely Serafina, I will not allow anyone else to have you. Please marry me. Who's that? Whoa, whoa, whoa! Hold on for one minute. Oh dear, what what Seraphina is this? What kind of Serafina propaganda? Anyone else super have her? Who's that? Next time on Serafina Story, episode two, because of love. Tonight. You will be falling in love. Uh, absolute Seraphina. Absolute Seraphina of propaganda. Basically, the sky footage when Rygon's allowed to be the editor. Whoa, what's with all the screaming? What happened? It's because we invited Rex Magnus to the party, isn't it? Now is no time to be calm, Sir Killia. This... Are we under attack from the lost? No. Of all things, that monkey put his underwear in with my laundry. His rage came Oh, jeez. <laughs> is that all? What a stupid reason. It is not stupid. That brute has tainted my purity. Hey, Sarah. Who are you calling Sarah? Don't you dare give me a nickname. She is now- I, I will now just refer to her as Sarah. But your name is too long. Sarah's fine, right Sarah? By the way, <laughs> where'd you hang my underwear to dry? Wait, this is some- <sighs> I sent them down the road to Hades! What does that mean? It means she threw your underwear away. Duh. Huh? She did what?! But the tiger print was my favorite! <laughs> Not to mention, my only good pair of underwear! He has absolutely zero tact. Just the idea of that man being in my vicinity is enough to disturb my peace of mind. I would overcharge him for rent, but that idiot doesn't even have a single hell to his name. And he's supposed to be an overlord? Maybe I should cut off his head and claim the reward. Oh yeah, he does have a large bite They're all on him. so noisy. Allies, you never learn, do you? Oh god, he's got like an inner dark thought, dark version. Oh, the age of this one. <laughs> They're not my allies, and I don't need any allies. Sure, you say that, but here you are with them. You're a blood-soaked renegade out for revenge. Allies don't suit you. Or did you forget what happened? I'll never forget. Vengeance is the only thing that keeps me going. Right. Ooh, you don't have edge. anything to protect anymore. And right after the funnies. Let anger saturate every fiber of your being. Release me, 
and destroy everything. Episode 2, Demon General. Now, I can't believe Sarah lied to us about the title of episode 2. Where are they? Have they been found yet? Your Excellency, rebels have appeared in the frontier of Bloodparch. The main squad that was stationed there has been completely wiped out. Your Excellency? As his 83rd secretary, I shall be assisting Lord Void Dark. I am Count Erini. You little mushroom man! Or is this worried, the big bad Void Dark we've been hearing all about? I shall be speaking on behalf of the great Lord Void Dark, Geek. Ahem. You said you had important information to report, so I made time for you. But is that all you've got, Gee? No, um... Do you think a dragon would care one bit about what ants may do, Gee? If you know they're rebels, then why don't you go kill them, Gee? Is there a reason you're wasting our time with this? I mean, what is Void Dark really doing besides just sitting on the throne pose and... Or did you want and... to accept responsibility for the weak squad that was destroyed? Is that what this is about, Gee? What? No, that's not... <laughs> Worthless. Lord Void Dark, we have taken control of the netherworlds of Furious God. Anguish illusion and miserable corpse. Boy, don't so love it. <laughs> My, as expected of Demon General Bloodis, Demon Emperor Void Dark will surely be satisfied with your work, Gee. Sixty percent of all Netherworlds are now in the hands of Lord Void Dark. We just need to suck in the surrounding Netherworlds too. <laughs> You can use the skill show. Okay. <laughs> Efficient functions here that will help you progress through battle smoothly. Please come quick. So unleash Tiger from BB tag. Damn you! I was setting up for that. <laughs> Hold on, is that the... Oh, is that who was doing the voice of the... Was it Bloodus, the night dude? The Pennies were searching, I think they would return with my information mission soon. We should talk to citizens of Pocket and everybody would gather information about the lost. Okie dokie, uh, actually wait. Okay, I can probably go for a bit. Maybe a bit longer? Hmm. I will admit I'm actually very split on streaming this guy. I think this guy, if I was still going to be a great fun game to get and learn, but it's like, hmm, maybe I will save that for uh, more off stream. But it was interesting to get the first impressions on stream and see how the, the guy of veterans react. Uh, and uh, hopefully people will be enjoying the uh, fumbling and learning along the way. Although I feel, you know, be being, you know, Mr. Vampire PNG tuber, we absolutely do need to stream the Valve uh, the Valve uh, DLC. Because that just seems, it, 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 it just works, you know. It seems fitting. Uh... <laughs> Hmm. Well, hold on. First of all, we need to talk to Red Magnus, though. That was super dangerous. Red Magnus got sucked into that black hole along with his under. So did man risk going into a black hole just to get his underwear. <laughs> he said he got in big trouble for throwing out Red Magnus' favourite pair of underwear. D you do know what's going to happen, right? You're in way more for trouble for throwing your dirty underwear out with my laundry. Looks like you're not gonna apologize. You're the one <laughs> we're at. It likes to say who's the better overlord. Sir Killing it, it's no use. Hmm. 
What was that just now? <laughs> I don't know, Sir Killer can be quite mysterious sometimes. Damn. Let's fix you up. Oh, hold on, we can get a prize. Brawny muscle, eh. Uh... Ha. <laughs> Actually, hold on, let me just check real quick because I'm kind of curious about something because, eh. Uh... I just wanted to check if that was an important notification or not. Um. I th think. Mm, I'm trying to think if this is a good stopping point or if I could go on a bit longer, but it's like. Nah, we finished the first episode. I think we can stop the stream here for tonight because it's like, eh, kind of getting on. Um, so yeah, first impressions of the sky art. Definitely good and interesting. I love the writing and these sprite designs. Um, the gameplay, I think it's got a lot of potential. I can't wait to get to the later parts of stuff. Um, though I probably won't be streaming like the full playthrough or anything. You, you might see this game pop up now and again every once in a while. Um... So yeah, I don't know, that's like my first initial impressions, but I do think I'll find myself enjoying this game. Uh, as for future plans, as I just work on setting up, because um, I think we're going to do a little raid just so I can send you all off some with chat. Um, so yeah, current plans, um, oh boy, if you thought I might have had a collab addiction, y'all are not ready for anything. Because there are already two collabs set for this week. Um, on Thursday, we will be doing more Monster Hunter Rise with uh, Kami and Zelfie. And, uh, you, you know, uh, maybe there'll be s someone else. Like, I don't know. Maybe Light or someone else will fill in that fourth slot. And then on Sunday, we are doing a another collab of um, Quantic Warning. I'll be joined by, you know, Vi. You know, Sire herself will be making an appearance. Uh, her, Kami, and someone else. We, we, we're, st we're still a work in progress. We're the fourth person. But, like, someone else probably will fill in that slot. We know people. Um, is there anybody I can send you off to? Uh... Oh damn, I was kind of hoping Kai was still streaming because I wanted to go give the homies the support. Um. Okay, I think what we'll do is, so, fellow UK streamer, uh, Mama Marvy, who was actually part of the last Content Warner collab, uh, she's streaming, so... What was it? What was she streaming? Valorant? So yeah, for anyone who's into Valorant and wants to go give her the support, uh, we will send people her way. Because she's currently the only thing here. Okay, well, you know. Respect the good, funny fellow UK streamer. And always it's like she's the only one, so it's like there is no competition tonight. Anyway, thank you all for watching, and I will see you on Thursday for the Funny Monster Hunter.